Good afternoon, kindergartners. It was so good to see so many of you on Zoom the other day, and I hope to see even more of you tomorrow on Zoom. Um, but today, this afternoon, we're going to do a little bit of science together. So before we left school, we were starting to observe and talk about wood. And I think you guys remember that wood comes from trees, and there's lots of different kinds of trees. So there's different kinds of wood that come from those different kinds of trees. So I'm going to show you a few different pieces of wood today that I have, and then we're going to look at them and observe them and see what happens when they get wet. So first, let's just take a look at the different kinds of wood. They're all little blocks, kind of like the ones we use for building. And this one is called pine, and it comes from a pine tree. I'm going to put it back down. Then I have this one, and we're going to work with this one today, and it's called cedar, and it comes from a cedar tree. And then I have two different kinds of wood that are a little bit different. This one is called plywood, and I think you can see that it has these kinds of layers in it, and that's because it does not come from a plywood tree. It is different pieces of wood layered together with glue and that makes it stronger and they have to use less wood to make it. So that's plywood, so it's a little cheaper. And then this one is called particle board and it also does not come from a particle board tree. It comes from sawdust. Can you say that? Sawdust? It's when you shave wood and you make tiny little pieces of sawdust. You may have seen that at home when your mom or dad uses a saw and all this dust comes off the wood. They take all that dust and they put it together with a special kind of glue and mold it together to make a piece of wood and it's much cheaper than getting it from a tree and it's not as strong. So we're gonna look especially at the cedar and the particle board and see what happens when they get wet. So let's read our question. Let's turn over here. We're gonna to point to our focus question and it says, what happens when wood gets wet? So we're gonna put some water on it. So before we test it out, I want you guys to just take a second and think. What happens when you get wet? What happens when you go outside in the rain? If you're wearing clothes like me, just like a little t-shirt, and you go out in your pants, and you, it starts raining really hard, what happens to your clothes? Do they get wet? Does the water go inside your clothes? Think about that. Okay, if you think the water gets inside your clothes, give me a thumbs up. Okay, that means that the your clothes absorb the water. Can you say that word? Absorb. It soaks through. You get soaking wet. But what happens if you go outside and you wear a rain jacket or rain boots or an umbrella? Does the water soak through? I think you guys remember at recess, sometimes I say to you, if you're wearing boots, you can jump in the puddles because what happens when you're wearing special clothes? Does the water absorb in your clothes or does it repel? Can you say that word? Repel. That means it goes off your clothes. What do you think? Give me a thumbs up if you think if you're wearing a rain jacket or rain boots, the water repels. I think so too. I think the water repels when you wear those special things and that's why we wear them, to keep our clothes dry so we don't get too cold in the rain. Okay, well we're gonna see if the wood is like our regular clothes and it absorbs the water or if it's like our rain boots and it repels the water. Are you ready? Okay. So, I'm going to turn this around. Okay, I have a around. couple special tools to test out what happens when this wood gets wet. So the first tool I'm going to use is this special dropper. 
Now, if you can see on the top, it has this black part that's soft, and I'm gonna squeeze that dropper like that, and I'm gonna dip it in the water and see if I can fill it up with water. But I have to take my time because I don't wanna rush through putting the water on. I wanna put it on slowly so I can really observe what happens. Are you ready? Okay, I'm gonna dip my dropper in the water. I fill it all the way up. I'm gonna move the particle board away and I'm just gonna start by observing the cedar. Can you see it okay? Oh, maybe I'll move it back a little. There you go. Okay, so I'm gonna put the drop right on the top. And I did it pretty slowly. Can you see the drop there? Can you tell what's happening? Is the water absorbing into the wood? Is the wood changing colors, can you tell? You might not be able to tell yet. It's a little, I'm gonna move the camera so you can see the top of it. The circle of water is getting a little bit bigger. I think that means it's going into the wood and absorbing. All right, I'm gonna let it keep going. And I'm gonna move the camera back. And we're gonna try out the particle board. And then when we're done putting the drop on, we'll see what has happened with this cedar, if it's gone, if it's absorbed or not. So I'm gonna get squeeze my dropper Get a little more water in there and slowly I'm going to put a drop or two on the top. Can you see what's happening? What do you notice about the water on the particle board? Does it look like it's absorbing or is it repelling? I'm going to move the camera so you can see a little better the top of the wood. Yeah, it looks like the water is absorbing slowly, but still absorbing into the cedar. But the water on top of the particle board looks like it's staying right on top in little bubbles which means it might be repelling the water a little bit. Hmm, that's an interesting difference. Keep watching for a minute. All right, so I'm just gonna move my wood pieces, my cedar and my particle board over here on my table and let the water absorb or repel for a little while longer and we'll come back to it. But I'm gonna bring over some new materials. Hopefully you'll be able to see them okay. Right here I have a basin of water. It's pretty full. I'm going to scoot you back a little. Okay, there's my basin of water. And now I'm actually going to see what objects float at the top of the water and which ones sink to the bottom. Now, I'm going to do that with my wood when I'm done observing whether they absorb or repel. But first I'm going to try it out with a couple other things I had around my house. So I had a green counting bear. What do you guys think? Do you think that's going to float at the top of the water or sink down to the bottom? Okay. I'm going to test it out. One, two, three. It looked almost like it was gonna sink down to the bottom, but then it came right back up to the top. 
So that means the bear is floating. The bear floats. And we know the bear is made of plastic, so it's floating at the top of the water. All right, I'm gonna try something else, another material. I have a quarter. I know the quarter is made of metal. What do you guys think? Is it gonna float or is it gonna sink to the bottom? All right, you have your prediction? All right, I'm gonna drop it in. We'll see, does it stay on top and float or does it sink to the bottom? One, two, three. Whoa, it went straight down to the bottom and it did not come back at all. And I don't know if you could see, but it even made some bubbles when it went down. All right, I'm gonna try a new material. I have a big gray Lego and the Lego is also made of plastic like the bear. So what do you guys think? Do you think it'll float like the bear or sink like the quarter? All right, are you ready? You have your prediction? Okay, one, two, I'm gonna put on this side. One, two, three. Oop, a little bit went down to the side, but then it came back up to the top. So that Lego is floating. The Lego floats. Okay, our last object other than the wood is a couple of keys. The keys are made of metal too, and they're on a metal ring. So what do you think? Are they gonna float like the bear in the Lego, or are they gonna sink like the quarter? You have your prediction? All right, let's drop them in. Help me count. One, two, three. Oh, they did just like the quarter. They sank straight to the bottom, super fast, and they made some bubbles. All right, were your predictions correct or did you change your idea based on your observation? All right, let's check out what's happened with the wood if the water has absorbed or if it keeps repelling because a few minutes have passed. And I see, I'm gonna turn you over, I see that the particle board is still repelling the water. There's still bubbles on top. It's absorbing a little bit at the sides, but mostly it's staying in the bubbles and the cedar has mostly absorbed the water. All right, are you guys ready to test out if the wood floats or sinks? All right, what do you guys think? Is the wood gonna float like the bear and the Lego that are made of plastic? Or is it gonna sink like the quarter and the keys that are made of metal? Do you have your prediction? Excellent, okay. I'm gonna drop both kinds of wood in one at a time and you can count with me. Okay, are you ready for the cedar? One, two, three. What happened? Exactly, the cedar is floating. Looks like wood floats. All right, let's try out the particle board. We noticed that the particle board and the cedar were a little bit different when we put water on them. Are they gonna be different or the same when we put them in water? All right, are you ready to count? One, two, three. What happened? Exactly, the particle board is also floating. So both kinds of wood float in the water, just like the plastic, bear, and the Lego. Only the metal objects are sinking. Hmm, all right. Well, you guys can try this at home. You have to ask your parents permission but you could get a bowl and fill it with water and try to see which objects float and which objects sink. Make sure you ask your parents before you try out putting something in water because some things shouldn't go in water. But you can draw a picture of what floats and what sinks 
You can draw a picture of what we showed that floated and sank, or you can do your own objects and then draw a picture, and you can even write a sentence. Like I might write, wood floats. So I'm gonna move my basin right out of the way, and I'm gonna move you guys up so you can see my drawing. And I have my paper right here, and I already drew my basin, because I knew I was gonna put a basin with water, and now I know my wood floats. So I'm gonna put my wood piece right on top of the water.